Hi there folks, I'm Rob the Hiker and today I'm going to show you what happened during Hurricane Irma, at least in Savannah. So if you see behind me there's a few branches down and stuff that's about the worst of the damage we actually had. We did lose that power line that's behind me and that, that kept us without power for a couple of days and now it's Wednesday, the power came back on sometime last night I believe, around like 7pm and we got off of work shortly after that and when we got home the power was back so i'm going to be uploading this video sometime in the very near future i invite you all to enjoy the next few minutes of watching what happened during hurricane irma all right folks it's the calm before the storm out here savannah is going to be hit by a category two hurricane sometime in the next two days. They've ordered a mandatory evacuation for tomorrow and while most people are evacuating I am not going to simply because I have enough supplies to last quite a while. My house is built on a hill so we should be just fine here. We have a canoe in the shed if it really does get that bad and we do have to self-evacuate but it shouldn't be a problem but as you can see things are very quiet out here doesn't feel like anything's coming but we all know that's not going to be the case so hopefully nothing really bad happens but we'll see you all very soon Okay, it's about 12 noon on Saturday, and as you can see, there are band layers of clouds that all seem to be moving in a very similar direction. So I would estimate this is the very, very edge that's starting to sweep over us now, because this storm is about 400 miles wide. So while it's not actually here yet, the first layers of clouds have started reaching us. You can start feeling the wind picking up. It hasn't gotten super bad yet, but we're expecting to get something here over the next few days. Well, day and a half now. Anyway, I will see you all for a little bit more later. I'm going to show you my preparations here in just a moment to show you what you should do if you're unable to evacuate for any reason and how to make sure that you are as safe as you possibly can. So I'll see you all in a little bit. Alright folks, so they've apparently downgraded it and we're not going to be actually getting hit by a hurricane. It's most likely just going to be a really bad thunderstorm. But as you can see behind me, we filled up the pool and over here we've got three five gallon buckets that I filled up with some water that's right down there and inside in a little bit I will show you some of my other preps I did go ahead and buy one of those foldable solar panels that's waterproof and a battery backup which I'm actually probably gonna end up bringing with me to Iceland because it's uh, fairly lightweight and it should be able to recharge batteries for any camera that I do decide to bring with me as well as my flashlights and all of that good stuff so I shouldn't have to worry about any of that but anyway I will see you all in a little bit so as you can see it hasn't changed a whole lot since yesterday it's now about four o'clock on Sunday and yes the rain has started you can see the picnic tables rather wet but we still don't have any really high winds. I don't know if you can hear the little bit of wind rustling the trees. You can kind of see it shaking that one just a little bit, but it's not all that bad yet. Supposedly sometime around 11 p.m. tonight, the hurricane should hit Tampa. And I would guess sometime in the next few hours after that, we're going to start feeling whatever effects we're going to feel from it here. So I'm um, imagining sometime tomorrow we should get some footage of that. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, folks, I'm out front for this one so that hopefully you can see some of these winds 
shaking in the trees. Yeah, you can kind of see that now. But yeah, I think this is probably about as bad as it's going to get here. As you can see, it's not much worse than just a thunderstorm and there's not even all that much thunder. It's just a lot of wind and rain. And it's not even very strong wind. Well, if anything happens, I'll show you. Well folks, the power just went out. You can see we have to use the flashlights now. Well, it doesn't look like it was a lightning strike. It looked more like a branch took out the power line over here. I don't think you can actually see that, but yeah, you can barely even see that there's any light out here at all. Well, folks, we lost power last night, but you can see over there, I have about... I think it's like 20 to 30 something cans of fuel for this stove that's sitting right over here on the floor and I've got a battery backup and a solar charger so we should be fine but if you look out there looks like the storms mostly over we might still get a little bit more for another couple hours and then it's pretty much gonna be it until we find out what Hurricane Jose is going to do. Now, unfortunately, the power that, um, well, the power line that went down is unfortunately not something that's going to be high on their concerns, so we might be without power for a few days. So this video is almost certainly going to be late by the time you guys see it, but hopefully you'll all still get to see what happened and... It wasn't a whole lot, but eh. uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to record the exploding power line last night. That that was the most excitement that there was during the storm, and unfortunately, and my camera wasn't available. So, I guess I will see you guys sometime later today when we break out this stove and cook up our first hot meal without power. So, I'll see you all sometime later. So I'm filming this through my window and standing inside right now. This is the tail end of the storm. We're just getting hit by some wind and rain bands that are circling around. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get much worse than this. So I guess that'll be it until the next time I decide to film something. I don't really think we're going to get any interesting weather. So. I uh, will see you all sometime later. Well, folks, we're still without power. It is Monday at around 10 p.m. You can see Amber's room's lit up by candles, and if we walk out this way, you can't see anything at the moment, but if we walk out into the living room, you can see I have our fireplace lit. It's a gas fireplace, so luckily the gas is still working just fine. Got a few candles, one on the table there, a couple on the mantelpiece. I did have a lot more of them lit in here because we were just playing Monopoly a little while ago with some friends. But it's getting late and Savannah still has a 10 p.m. curfew so they all had to go. But yeah, as you can see, this room is very dark with the exception for the candles and the street light that's out there that still has power. Not really sure how that has power when we don't, but you never know with Savannah. Anyway, that's all for tonight. I look forward to seeing you guys sometime tomorrow morning when the sun comes up and it's daylight out here. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Alright folks, that's all we have for today. And I will see you all sometime next week. Take care.